Hello, my name is Corey Toombs, and today we're going to uh, play Gaiden Sega. This is my second game for RPG Maker VX Ace. I have a save file here, um, just after the first dungeon. I wanted to uh, show a bit of the town here. Now uh, the start there isn't a lot to do, but um, as you progress through the game, more and more stuff becomes open. This is the Warrior's Guild. By the end of the game, all these walls will be covered with quests that you can um, that you can do. There's about 30 quests uh, from the Warrior's Guild that you can complete. And um, all the shops, um, you can't buy anything yet, but as uh, you play the game, um, different stuff will become available at the stores. And the main character at the front is uh, Dazar, and that is his brother Leywan. And uh, they're the two princes of Farago, which is this town. Um, being my second game, I used a lot more resources, scripts, uh, tiles, um, and uh, here's a ring menu. That looks pretty cool. And um, if you go uh, in here, this is the Hall of Learning, and um, they'll tell you about the history of uh, Farago if you want to learn about that. And um, this is the dojo. If you come and talk to uh, this guy, um, he will teach you some different uh, katana skills for Dezar. And Dezar can uh, become quite powerful later. So it's quite a big town and there's lots to do later um, as you progress through the game. We we're just going to do the first couple minutes here. The first dungeon is the Ice Cave. The crystals you can heal and uh, buy items. Oh, I need to buy some of those. And, uh, everything. Okay, so we got a little bit of everything, and uh, let's uh, save the game. This is the, the second dungeon in the game, and it's uh, ice and. Um, and we're fire attributes, so uh, obviously um, we should use some uh, fire here. And um, all the enemies have um, elemental weaknesses or strengths. And obviously the second dungeon is obviously very easy to figure out what those are. And um, being ice, you're going to be weak to those. Um, I used a Yamfly battle system, and you can see at the bottom I have a... ATB, which means that not all my characters will go at the same time like in the default uh, battle system. Mm, go over here. And I use a lot of uh, different lighting effects. I have uh, some light rooms and some dark rooms. Trying to experiment with a lot of different things that I didn't do in my first game. game, as it goes on, it's all, the enemies get a little bit more complicated as to um, what they might be um, weak against. So, like, obviously the first dungeon you should figure out that uh, fire is what you should use. It's a uh, big no-brainer. I think anyone could have probably figured this out. But of course the enemies will use ice against you, so you got to keep track of your um, HP and carry lots of items and uh, save frequently. Um, this game does get more difficult and a lot of people uh, said how difficult this game is. Um, but. Uh, I actually thought it was easy, but um, obviously there's a lot of people who think this game is difficult. So in my third game, I do try to uh, work more on uh, making the difficulty uh, more fair. And I even put in a difficulty system in my third game so that uh, even if someone did find it a little too difficult, um, they could change it. Or if they find it too easy, they could um, actually make it 
more difficult though, so every game you learn something new and uh, the comments I get I always use to try to uh, uh, make something And this is just uh, me the boss of this dungeon. And uh, this guy is the guy who teaches you katana, katana skills later. You're going to join your party and um, this is a good opportunity um, to level up. Because, um, where is it? Let's look at the status. And he's at level 30. So um, obviously this is a good opportunity um, to uh, abuse abuse him, um, so to say, he's, uh, he's there now. But though his skills um, do require a lot of TP, so I, I didn't want to make it too easy. Um, you can blow away all your enemies. Look at how fast his ATB is here. If you want to use that, you have to spend 100 TP, and the, his magic spell costs 200 MP. Yeah, we'll, we'll save that for the final boss, and he, he is, uh, his ATB is very fast, and he can pretty much, uh, kick the enemy's asses. You're, you're only going to get him until the end of the dungeon, so, um, I just sort of thought, oh, it'd be cool if you can, uh, have someone like this in your party for a little while. Now, I, I still use uh, default battlers, though later in the game, uh, if you make it to the optional dungeon, I do have uh, some really cool, interesting looking guys. Um, I think I missed a chest. Um, yeah, well, I'm not going to get it. You guys can figure out where uh, all the stuff is. Can't show you where everything is. There's there's uh, there's a hidden chest with a better sword in here in the previous room. And um, here we need to hit switches. I have a lot of switches. Days all really hate switches, and um, people usually um, say something about one of them at some point. Um, a strategy, because the game does get difficult later, as I said, is try to always have a lot of items, use the crystals, and uh, save, save very frequently, I think. Um, especially as you get later in the game, you need to do that more. And go up here and way, way up here. There's a switch. Oh, I used my stuff. I didn't want to do that, but you can see. Oh, wow, how cool is that? 200 MP. Oh, see, Dezar always likes to they like to say stuff about the switches. So uh, yeah, he doesn't like switches, and uh, every once in a while he likes to uh, say something bad about them. It's sort of his thing. I tried to have a, a lot of humor in this game, like I did in my first one. Um, I think this one's a lot better in terms of the story, and, well, pretty much everything, I think, the battle system, I use a lot of scripts, um, tile sets are obviously, even my mapping skills is better, well, there's a lot of encounters, I don't think the encounter rate is quite as high as Dragon Lancer, like, I think Dragon Lancer is, like, was 10, and that was sort of ridiculous, um, my third game, I'm trying to make it even easier, if, if you can imagine that, and um, let's see, I tried to uh, put some different uh, 
kinds of things in here. And uh, almost finished here. At least there's some interesting. Uh, try to add some different things than I had in Dragon Lancer. Dragon Lancer, I didn't have a lot of different stuff, so I, I thought, oh, Polar's is too difficult to uh, program. It didn't take me that long to figure out how to do that. And there's a crystal here, and obviously we know this is going to be a boss. So it's always good to save before this. And um, let's keep this guy's ass. Now obviously this is the time where you want to use this. And I did program this boss with his skills in mind that uh, that uh, I gave it a higher HP so you couldn't just kill it with with having this guy in your party. Now Dezar, our Leiwan, has learned a skill and he, his skills cost HP. I thought it was a little interesting um, to use HP as uh, a cost. I do this way more in my next game. All my characters have HP instead of TP. I actually took TP totally out of my game because um, it just didn't think it was necessary anymore. But I wanted to make my my next game. Um, I didn't want to do that. I want to uh, give this guy more MP. That will take forever. So obviously, um, you gotta beat this uh, boss yourself after um, half of the HP has been taken away from him by. Uh, this guy here, but he still does quite a bit of damage, so I took a lot of consideration into uh, making this uh, balance so it's balanced enough. Critical hit. Yeah, and he leaves your party. And so you, you do get him for a while, and I would suggest, you know, maybe leveling up with him in your party for a while. <sighs> Let's save, and um, that's it. I'm going to find out how to end the game here. Shut down. Well, thank you for listening. Bye-bye.